Welcome to another edition of the industry's first video newsletter, the Music and Sound Retailers V Newsletter. Hi everyone, I'm Jill Nicolini. I hope everybody had a great Labor Day weekend, but now it's time to get back to business. Here, Jill. Oh, thanks, Max. Well, Max has some late-breaking news for us. This is pretty big. Marshall products will no longer be distributed by Korg as of October 1st. Now, according to V Newsletter sources, Marshall felt there was a conflict of interest because Korg owns the Vox brand. Mitch Colby, Korg's USA Executive Vice President, said that everyone at our Melville headquarters is extremely proud of the job we've done to sell and support Marshall. Thanks again. All right, NAM right now is taking a big new step toward easing congestion at its winter NAM show. On September 1st, the trade organization announced that it would provide Sunday only yellow guest badges. NAM said that the new badge, which will be seen for the first time at the January show, should lessen traffic on the first three days of the show and perk up traffic on the last day. Four day yellow badges given often to guests of manufacturers will still be available for whomever a manufacturer deems absolutely necessary. Harmon International founder and chairman Emeritus Sidney Harmon added a new title to his resume, owner of Newsweek magazine. The 91 year old was one of several bidders for the magazine, which the Washington Post company had owned since 1961. The terms of the deal were not disclosed, but sources close to the negotiation said that Harmon agreed to pay a small amount in cash and to assume tens of millions of dollars in financial obligations. The Post Company will retain the pension assets and liabilities, as well as certain employee obligations arising prior to the sale. Seems like a far cry from the pro audio and consumer electronics giant, but not a surprise to those who know Uncle Sidney, the U.S. ambassador and consummate entrepreneur. And now some sad news to report. Sirwin Vega founder Gene Sirwinski passed away last month. He founded the company way back in 1954 when he was an aerospace engineer. Sirwin Vega CEO Timothy Dorwitt released a statement saying, quote, Gene Sirwinski's passing is a great loss. His work inspired performers to be their best and gave music fans the tools they needed to get the most out of recorded music. He leaves a lasting legacy for all of us at Sirwin Vega to live up to. Sirwinski was 83. The industry is also mourning Bob Beals. The former president of Evans Drumheads died last month, leaving behind his wife Shirley, two children, three grandchildren, and a brother. Beals purchased Chick Evans stock in Evans Products and became president of the company. His wife served as vice president and treasurer as well until the Beals family sold Evans to Diodario in 1995. California-based Zone Music is looking into ways to reorganize its business, but don't worry, the Frequent Music and Sound Award winner is still open for business. Owner Frank Hayher said the store is, quote, looking for a model that works after online competition forced him to re-examine his business. Zone Music is one of the few musical instrument stores left in Sonoma County, and Hayhurst told the local newspaper that he hopes to make a decision on the store's future very soon. Industry veteran Troy Richardson has launched a new independent sales and marketing company. The Revolution Group represents several product lines on the West Coast, including Lackland Basses, Hanson Guitars, and the newly established Hollywood Guitars brand. Before this, Richardson was a national sales manager for Tornavaz Music. Now, we told you about the 30th Stairway to Stardom show at Skips Music last month, but it's such a big event that we figured a few more details couldn't hurt. Among the many great highlights was a seven-year-old girl belting out Rolling Stones songs, and at the risk of editorializing, can I mention that she performed a great rendition of Satisfaction? Yeah, the second day of the event featured a golf tournament in which a virtual who's who of manufacturers participated. For more on the history of this great event, check out the latest issue of the Music and Sound Retailer. Attention manufacturers, listen up. We know that you're watching and V Newsletter has some really exciting news. We are running a first ever contest called Show Us Your Tubes. Now here's how it works. We have asked manufacturers to submit what they feel is the best video they have produced and run on YouTube. We will run two of these videos on each V Newsletter broadcast for the months of October, November and December. 
So where do you dealers come in? Well, we need you to vote on your favorite video of the 12 that we will present. From there, we will determine the three finalists and later we will have you pick a winner who will be given, of course, several prize options. We will provide all the voting details for you next month. All right, that's going to be real cool. And it's time for a short break, but we've got plenty of new products coming up, so make sure you stay with us. Samson's RO line features lightweight loudspeakers for bands, DJs, educators, clubs, and other live sound reinforcement needs. These two-way active speakers come in 12 and 15-inch models that both deliver 400 watts of power. Featuring OptiMax processing, our loudspeakers will operate at high volume levels without sacrificing low end, according to Samson. Godlike's Power Grip lets you mount effect pedals to your pedal board without using hook and loop fasteners. Power Grip uses an adhesive that's both temperature and weather resistant and creates what Godlike calls rows of small mushroom shaped stems that bond with one another. Power Grip is available in 39 inch rolls, enough tape to mount approximately six standard size effect pedals. Speaking of pedals, two new models join T-Rex Engineering's Tone Bug line. The Tone Bug Phaser offers a modern mode for a crisp, thick sounding phase and a vintage mode for a classic analog sound. It features a mode switch as well as controls for rate and depth. The other new pedal is the Tone Bug Chorus Flanger pedal, which offers, you guessed it, both a chorus effect and flanger mode. This pedal also comes with rate and depth controls. All right, you'll want to join the tour group after checking out Yamaha's Rock Tour drum set. The kit's made with true mahogany shells that the company describes as microphone friendly. Additional features include textured ash finishes, satin nickel hardware, and the company's staggered diagonal seam air seal system construction, which Yamaha says ensures that each shell is perfectly round and eliminates gaps in the bearing edges. Canada's Richmond Guitars introduced the Empire Single Cutaway Guitar. The retro-inspired electric solid body axe sports a solid silver leaf maple body with popular wings, mahogany neck, and chrome wraparound bridge. The Empire has Godam pickups in the neck and bridge, as well as a volume knob, tone knob, and three-way toggle switch. And if you want to learn to play our new acts, Alfred's got three new books in its Complete Idiot's Guide series for classical, acoustic, and rock guitar. Each book presents its songs with full music notation, tab, and chord diagrams. And using Alfred's exclusive TNT software, you can change keys, loop sections for practice, and both slow tracks and speed up tracks without changing the pitch while you learn. A Florida music store pops up in the most unlikely of places, so make sure you stay tuned. That's coming up next. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the NAM Show. The NAM Show in Anaheim is the hub of innovation for music products, sound, technology, and lighting. 
Are you ready to boost the volume of your company's sales and invest in your company's future? For four days only, January 13th through 16th, we're taking it to 11, and you can too. The 2011 NAM Show. I'll definitely drink to this one. A woman in Ocala, Florida, decided to turn her bar into a music store. Teresa Vadney closed the Tin Cups Tavern on August 2nd and plans to reopen this month as Lillian's Music Store. It's not as big of a stretch as it sounds, since Vadney had run the previous Lillian's before it closed down. But still, sounds like she's taking someone's suggestion to play 12 Bar Blues a little seriously. Well, that's our show, and of course, don't forget to tell your friends and colleagues about us. They can sign up for free at msretailer.com slash vnewsletter. Plus, you can see all past vnewsletters there as well. Also, they can sign up for free issues of the Music and Sound Retailer and other test of publications. We'll be back later in the month with even more news, products, and exclusive content that you won't find in any magazine. Again, I'm Jill McAleeny, and we all thank you for watching.